I used to go to sleep watching television. This short message addresses attendance in our virtual studio. The ongoing pandemic presents us with several challenges. You may have questions about online learning and how I plan to manage the course. I will address all of your questions when we meet on a regular basis twice a week. For now, here are my plans. In an effort to keep this video focused and brief, allow me to discuss one area of online learning for architectural skills too, attendance and participation. I'm currently in my 21st year of university teaching and in my 18th year of teaching as my full-time job. The one constant lesson I've learned from this experience is that successful students show up on a consistent basis and put in the work. While I'm not your parent, and while as an adult you are ultimately responsible for your own work ethic, I do track and reward attendance. As you can see from this flowchart, Microsoft Teams has three tools that I will use for structuring our online lecture meetings. One, and if I can remember to do so each time, I will record the class meetings so that you can review them as needed. This is, of course, not a guarantee, since as a human, I have been known to forget a thing or two. Two, I will use Microsoft Forms to survey the class with a couple of quiz questions from Lecture Concepts. And three, I will try to download a list from Teams that identifies who is attending. Of course, the attendance list does not account for your participation, since it is easy enough to log on and then check out. As an example, this is a little like falling asleep in a face-to-face -face class. The quiz is therefore designed to survey your attention and comprehension. Each week will include two online class lecture meetings of about one hour in length and shall be conducted synchronously, in other words, in real time. The remaining two hours, four hours per week, of scheduled course time per day allow you to contact me in real time if you need to ask further questions in a timely way. I will include several asynchronous demonstration videos that further explain concepts and techniques used for your projects. There will be several resources that I include from external sources. Just as in Architectural Skills 1, you will submit projects to me electronically through Canvas. I have added a few quizzes that should help us recall topics discussed during our weekly online lecture meetings. All of your professors are working hard to give you the fullest experience possible given the constraints resulting from this pandemic. I am confident that many of you were raised to look for the opportunities presented by such challenges where perhaps others in society see only limitations and problems. Rather than complain about our lost opportunities, I hope that you will join me in seeking new ones and in creating the best work you have ever done. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. I don't intend to do that anymore because I don't think television is that valuable myself.